Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher, and today's lesson is squid. And I have had kind of a wild week, so I didn't get a post on Tuesday, so uh, hopefully everything gets loaded and we're ready to go Thursday, and you'll see this Thursday morning. Um, this is squid. I've done several of them. I taught this in my um, Tuesday class. This is Oranaut with a little squid behind it and squid on a gray tile. I'm going to use a gray circle to do squid on. And I think you're going to enjoy how simple squid is and what it can do for other tangles. I should say, here I've got squid coming out of the sides of this tangle. I use squid or parts of squid in lots of tangles. So let's start out. We're going to start out with squid, and it just starts, I think you would call it a lot like um, Bronx cheer. We're just going to put a bunch of circles, I call them little raspberries, in the center here of my tile. And I don't fill them in all the way. They're just very um, relaxed done. So they're very easy. And, and lots of space in between. And they're not filled in all the way. And then we're going to start. And I'm going to put a little tentacle or a leaf looking edge out. And I just go around my circle, around my Bronx cheer and put these little arms or tentacles or leaf shapes all the way around so it kind of stars out and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to fill in in between and I want it to come to a point and then back down. So I want that point. And sometimes they'll go off to one side. Now I'm going to come. And this time, it's going to go under. So think of Holly Ba. And it is going to go under one, going either direction. <laughs> and I'm just going to fill in going several different ways. I keep going until I have an, what I feel is enough. That's going to be an individual thing. And it just keeps going. <laughs> I think I'm about to the end. I think I've come all the way around. And now, Squid gets some little circles. These are not filled in. They are just open. So maybe we think of them as little eggs or I don't know just little circles in here embedded in between and you just put them until you get to the point where what you like I'm going to show you a couple see here I put a few 
Here I've got a few more. This one, I didn't do the bronze tear. It just is coming out underneath. And I used gray paper. We're going to show you what you can do with the gray paper. You can come back with a white jelly roll and add a little highlight on a gray tile. This one isn't very, this is a light gray tile. I love working on gray and um, brown. And then you can also, can be shaded. I'm just using regular graphite pencil. And I'm just going to shade up the little parts of my tentacles. Not, maybe not all of them, but a few of them. Never, I'm not going to put any here in the center. I want to keep that, that, I don't want to make it muddy. I want to keep it that gray and black. So once we get it, then we can blend these out with our shading stump so that we have a nice blend on there. Up those little tentacles. And there we have squid. And I left it behind Aranaut. Just taking it out kind of has just a different feel. I left it behind Bunzo, Aranaut. It, this is it just laying, coming up underneath. It is a great tangle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment. I love the comments. It's at inkadoodles.com. You could also get this great new pen that's coming out. It's not quite here yet, but within the next watch, within the next few days, you'll see it at the store. It's the pen. It has a plastic nib, and it has a m less crushable tip. I don't think it's crushable, and I love it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.